Now let's talk about this TV. As you can see, the first thing I clean this from the dust because it's uh, staying for 20 or 30 years. Now let's see what we have here. Here it's a white and black TV. It's made in Romania 30 or 4 years ago. This is the first video game. As you can see, that's the video game. That's the control. Start button, speed, number of players. Now let's bring this to life. I didn't put this to the mains yet. Now let's see. These are the connectors for the control joystick of the game. It has three connectors. Now that's the inside of the TV. I will look at uh, every part. And after that I will power this on. I don't know why someone put this uh, switch here. I will solder this back as it was. As you can see, this was a masterpiece 40 years ago. I don't know why these wires are not connected. Now let's power this on and let's hope that we are lucky. I turn the power on from the front. I can hear the high voltage. Brightness is at the maximum and contrast it its maximum. As you can see, it's turning on. And now it's on the game. But the... It's hard to see because the brightness it's very low. You have to be very careful when you play with all TVs because uh, here we have a very high voltage and it's a capacitor. Now first thing that uh, we have to do is to increase the brightness. And to increase the brightness, we have to increase the voltage to this cathodic tube. Now I will start to test uh, the parts. As you can see, there is a smaller resistor that doesn't look good. I check the schematic and I will replace that resistor. I will check all the capacitors and I will measure to see if they are in good shape. Now let me show you another capacitor. As you can see it's from uh, 80 and it's in a perfectly good shape after 43 years.
So I've replaced this resistor because uh, you can see it doesn't look good. Original was uh, 22 ohms, but I've replaced with uh, 27 ohms because I presume that will work. Now let's power on. As you can see, image it's not in his place because image should be here. And I presume that's the problem. Now I will replace that 27 with uh, one original 22 ohms. That's the vertical uh, movement uh, module. Let's put this back. And now let's hope we solved the problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't solve the problem yet. I've replaced all old electrolytic capacitors you can see here. Even they seem good, but uh, you saw that in this module, after one capacitor like this was good, I measured it, and after I put on the board, it uh, was not working good. And that's why I decided to replace all the electrolytic capacitors. Now I want to show you this is the module for the game. This is a microcontroller. And the rest are the keyboard for the game. supply now I will put this back and I will make a test and hope everything works better now it's working but I have to make uh, all the adjustments because as you can see it's not seeing good also, I have to replace this potentiometer. To identify the module which has the problem, I brought this uh, VCR and now let's test. The image seems good and I think the problem is only on a small gaming module. And I will take that module out and I replace again all the capacitor on that module. Now I am making the final stage. I will replace this uh, volume potentiometer because it is very old and uh, interrupt. I will replace with this one. This is from the similar old TV. Before I mount this potentiometer, let's check it first to see if it's good. These are the endings. 25 kilo is good. And now the beginning, 
and the volume wire. It seems good, but uh, we have to clean this. I've replaced the volume potentiometer with a simple one. But as you can see, original potentiometer has a switch inside. It's off and on. And I will replace uh, this switch with another one. But I have to be careful to pair the wires. Now I put the switch in on position and let's check. Now this project is ready and I need to make the final test. I put this power button here. Wires are inside. Now let's power on. I made two of these uh, controls. Let's power on. V volume is working well. Now it's only on one player. Let's switch on two players. Yeah. Let's start again. Now I'm playing with both hands. Now this is working fine. Now this project is ready. I made this enclosure for uh, the joystick. And now the both joysticks are working. I hope that you like this video and if you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in my next video, bye.